2017. And of course, I'm standing here with my beautiful host for the night. Please introduce yourself. My name is Glitterati, a.k.a. Aisha, and I'm hosting the show for tonight. The one and only, and I am standing here with Miss International. Introduce yourself, please. Ooh, hey, guys, my name is Liz, a.k.a. The International Diva, a.k.a. Mama Shade, and I'm your co-host for this evening. But you know this already, right? <laughs> so tell me, what do you guys have in store for us tonight? Oh, a whole lot. Aisha. Hey. Tell them about these girls. Ah, these women are fine, fine. I don't know who they're going to pick. I'm glad that I'm not a judge because these judges are going to be going through some drama. Gorgeous, intelligent, empowered black women. Melanin is popping. Sisters in media. Hello. So please tell me. Besides the beautiful ladies, what else are you looking forward to for tonight? I'm looking forward to just getting everybody experiencing it and also empowering African culture as a whole because I know that it's a rise in our diaspora, right? And we are trending right now and we're going to get on that boat and we're going to ride it till the wheels fall off. And what about you? I mean, furthermore, apart from just trending, we don't want to just be a trend. Africa has been, will always be. So we want people to actually want to learn, to actually want to go visit, to actually want to know about the culture. It's one thing to wear it, it's one thing to follow a trend, but it's a big thing to actually know it and appreciate it. So that's what we want to celebrate and that's what we want to share. Praise the stage. female co-host and female host on stage. The women are taking over. Is that okay? Yeah. We want to welcome everybody to the Miss Nigeria USA pageant. Beautiful, beautiful. I don't want to have your job done. I don't want to have your job done. Because I'm back there and all my news is going to be horrible. So, you want to go ahead? Alright. So tonight, we will enjoy an exciting display of beauty, grace, talents of Nigerian women today. want to do this pageant? I wanted to really like participate in something that showcased my culture and Miss Nigeria USA is the perfect platform for women to be empowered and to really showcase Nigerian culture. Good evening ladies and gentlemen. My name is Chidara Ekwari. I am your Miss Bayasa. My platform is an advocacy for undocumented Nigerian immigrants currently living in the United States. My name is M.M. Uchi. 
Udo and Takino, and I am representing the tourism capital of Nigeria, Cross River State. I proudly and firmly stand on the platform for advocating for children with disabilities with a focus on autism. I am the voice for the voiceless. Sasanko! Thank you. Oh man, the Miss Nigeria USA pageant provides such a strong platform for Nigerian women in America. So I had to go ahead and take forward and improve the education system in Nigeria. So I'm so happy to be here. I'm so honored. I'm sorry, he said Switzerland. Swiss Alan. So he has Swiss bank account. He has Swiss bank account. I think it's big no, bank. No, it's not only Swiss. Big or God? He's cheddar. He's cheddar? He's propolo. He don't have money. He doesn't have money. Ah, ah, that's 419. 419. Did you give him money for He's his sick mother? I sent him some money for medicine. Man. How much? Eh, you know, eh, like 500. Hey. Hey. Welcome to Nigeria. When they send you an email saying, please, we just need your bank account information so that we can wire transfer money to you. And we will give you 50% of that. Uh -huh. Don't believe it. Don't fall for it. Our brothers are hungry. Are we ready? Are we ready for the swimsuit competition? Make some noise. Make some noise. Make some noise. Keep it on. Let's clap it up. Let's clap it up. Let's clap it up. DJ, you got the music ready? Miss Nigeria USA? 
Oh man, so many reasons, but I think the one reason that really pushed me to do Miss Nigeria USA is that I was looking for uh, an organization that really uplifted the Nigerian woman mm -hmm. and allowed the Nigerian woman to be able to do work not only in the United States, but also in Nigeria as well. In addition, I really appreciated the fact that they gave us an opportunity to push a platform or a cause that we advocate very strongly for. And Amazing. mine is actually diabetes and heart disease prevention for Nigerians in the diaspora. So the Miss Nigeria or USA organization was just a wonderful opportunity for me to highlight the beauty of Nigeria mm -hmm. and also to promote the things that I'm passionate about. So that's what really moved me to be a part of this organization and be a part of the pageant today.
I'm actually a dancer, so you know, I thought the girls awesome. dance you know, I'm all around. <laughs> Thank you everyone for coming out to support. Um, everyone looks beautiful. Miss Nigeria USA is a humanitarian pageant that some of you know and we we are we always giving back as much as we can. And I'm standing here with the one and only Mr. Praise. Thank you so much for joining us. Pleasure's mine. It feels good to be here. How are you? I am great now. So you're here supporting Miss Nigeria. Why? Um, she's a friend of mine and um, I mean an amazing person with a great personality and uh, I mean I'll do anything to support my friends. So I'm here. <laughs> All right. So I know you have a lot in store, you know, in terms of music. Please tell us what are you up to nowadays? Um, I just dropped a new single. Um, it's called Me A New Future in Sarkodia. And um, it's been like since it's released, it has been amazing. Like the, it's been like a major wave. And uh, working on my sophomore album, which is due to drop later this year. And um, basically, just more music, more music, more music.
in spite of the ache, we'll rise up and we'll do it a thousand times again.
kids that we need to be together. We need to have each other's back. We got to start it from home. They're watching us. Corruption is something that has continued to take resources from countries and continents that are swimming in abundance. As youth, as Nigerians, what we can do is continue to educate ourselves and move in a way that shows the world that we are capable of earning an honest living and giving people what they deserve without feeling entitled to more or less. Thank you. How do you feel about millennials moving back to Nigeria? Thank you for that question. I personally have considered moving back to Nigeria several times in the past years, and I do feel like I will eventually do that. I think it is something that is very, very important because when we come to America, we get a great education. And it's important for us to take that education and experience that we get here back home to build our country right. so that we can compete on a world scale and national level. So I think it is very, very important and it is something for all Nigerian youth to consider. Being in Nigeria, USA, was everything I could have dreamt of. To my loving and supportive parents, David was there for the daily. I could not have done this without you. Thank you for pushing me. Thank you for believing in me. Thank you for making sure that I did not give up on that dream. To my sister, I love who I do. Thank you for always being there. I love you. And you can have asked you for this last year. So I'm standing here with Miss Lola. You might remember her from 2016. Yes, she was awesome. Thank you so much for joining us. Of course, it's my pleasure. <laughs> so tell me, how was your reign as queen? I mean, you're still a queen, of, yes, course. of course. I had an amazing time being Miss Nigeria USA. I got to perform my platform. Everything that I set out to do at the beginning of the year, I was able to do with the help of Joy, the founder of Miss Nigeria USA, as well as Bala, who is the current director of the pageant. Um, it's been an awesome year, amazing opportunities, amazing contacts and connections that I've made over the year. So I'm just blessed and, and happy to be here, to be in this point, and also to give the opportunity to the next queen. Please take your photos. That's awesome. Take your photos of the top three. Can you guys? I'm just saying, should I repeat it? <laughs> repeat it now. Okay, they didn't hear you. Our Miss Nigeria USA 2017 is Mr. Kwaiba! Magessa, I'm a former Miss Tanzania and uh, humanitarian. I'm also working as a fashion model with Ford Models New York. Amazing. So what did you think about the outcome of the show for tonight? Well, first of all, this is Miss Nigeria, but I just wish they can do more to, um, to give opportunity for other countries. You can do Miss Africa, USA, because this is just another opportunity for these young girls to be able to like express express themselves and just get the opportunity to help back home. So I'm very, very happy to be here today. So guys, this is the founder of this amazing pageant, Miss Joy. Thank you so much for what you're doing thank with these you, girls. Thank you. So tell me, how do you feel about the outcome for tonight? It was I was happy because it was a really tough one. Like all six of them they were all beautiful and smart and then came down to top three. It was like, oh my God, how are we gonna do this? But I guess the judges did the right thing to choose her because she is an exceptional woman. Yes. So um, it was great. I'm, I'm excited, I'm happy. So how do you feel? I feel kind of overwhelmed. I'm so excited. It's just surreal, it's just surreal. Okay, can you please reiterate, what was your platform for tonight? My platform is stroke awareness and prevention. So pretty much focusing on health education to prevent heart disease and stroke. 
within the within the Nigerian community. All right, with your win tonight, what do you hope to do? My hope is really to promote health education by doing workshops and seminars here in the United States and back home in metal commissions in Nigeria. Mm -hmm.